Hello everyone, welcome back to another PS4 collection video. It's been a fair few years since I have made a video like this. Uh, the collection has definitely improved um, quite a bit, but I haven't uh, got probably as much as people would think over the, you know, over the years. There are a lot I'm still missing, but very recently I have been picking up a fair amount. Uh, I've been making use of some Amazon deals, so getting uh, brand new and sealed ones, but I've also been buying them from like CEX and uh, eBay. So I'm going to get straight into it. I'm not going to go over too much about the games because I'll be here forever. Um, but I'll just show you what I've got. So starting over here, we have Alan Wake uh, Remaster. Just picked that up today or yesterday. We have Alex Kidd. Alien Isolation with a custom slipcover that I've made. If you are curious, this is what it looks like. But yeah, really cool. I do custom slipcovers and I do PlayStation ones as well as movie ones. I have the Among Us uh, like limited edition one. Really cool lenticular. Got that from... Amazon down from like 32 or 35 to 12 pound, so that's really good. Um, the Arkham Collection, uh, Batman Arkham Knight, uh, Bendy and the Ink Machine, uh, Blair Witch, uh, this Broken Age, which this is a really cool one. This is like the limited edition or limited run edition, so. Uh, really nice to have that, brand new and sealed, and I've also put it in a protector. We have the Bioshock collection. Crash Bandicoot 4. Uh, the Insane Trilogy. CTR. Cuphead. Cyberpunk 2077. And it's the like, Steelbook Limited Edition one, whatever you want to call it. Up here I do have Murder Soul Suspect, which is like the Limited Edition box. But I just keep that up the top because I've got the main game on the shelf. In fact, I will leave that down there. We have uh, Deadpool, which is crazy how this has gone up in price. Especially recently because of, I guess, the new... Uh, Wolverine and Deadpool movie, which uh, I can't wait to go see, but this is like £65. Uh, Destroy All Humans. This is like Disney Collections one, it's like a three in one game. Don't Starve. This is really cool. I think this one's quite hard to get as well now, and it's still sealed. It's because I've got it on PC and I think on digital on the console. It's the Mega Pack one, I guess, with all the DLC. We have Dying Light. Evil Dead, the game. Far Cry 4. I still need to get the Far Cry 3 Classic Edition, because that's fairly cheap now, and that's my favourite one. We have Help Wanted, or Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted. Five Nights at Freddy's Core Collection. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's uh, Security Breach, which uh, I went with the PS4 one, even though this is on PS5, you get the free upgrade, which is always nice. Uh, Friday the 13th, the game, pretty much the same as Evil Dead game, and also like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which I've got at the end. Uh, Gang Beast, another one that I managed to get pretty cheap off Amazon. Again, brand new and sealed. Played it on the PC. Brilliant game. Uh, so I thought I'd get the console one. We have oh, two games stuck together. Ghostbusters, the video game remastered. Goat Simulator, the bundle one. So it's the first game, I think, and all the DLC. Again, I've got it on digital, so I haven't opened the physical one yet. But it's just nice to have it in the collection. God of War, Goosebumps, I forgot I had this actually, <laughs> I only just got this but 
It's um, it, it's a very basic game, but I, I loved Goosebumps growing up, and I didn't know this was a thing uh, until the other day and picked it up off Amazon. Fairly good price, so I know I can probably get these. Some of these are a lot cheaper if I just buy them used off eBay, but uh, they're not too bad, and it's nice to get them new. Uh, Hot Wheels Unleashed. This is the House Flipper Pet Edition, which I didn't even know that there was a pet edition until I searched the House Flipper game up because my brother has this on physical because we played it um, and watched people on YouTube play it. Um, and then we got the physical PS4 version and I managed to find it a bit later uh, than his one and found this pet edition one, which I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, includes really but I assume it's just like sims really where you get some like expansions to do like pets and stuff something like that Kingdom Come Deliverance Kingdom uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 uh, 2.8 and whatever this one is the like weird like uh, um, I don't know what they call this one. It's like the weird music one. But uh hardly played that one. It's quite difficult. And uh, I prefer the mainstream main games. Knack. I've still yet to get the second one. I keep saying this um, in my last one. I still didn't have it. And I still don't now. I will get it. But again, not a priority really. Lego City. Undercover. Uh, Lego DC Villains, Harry Potter Collection, or Lego Harry Potter Collection, uh, Lego Avengers, Lego The Incredibles, Lego World, Worlds, Life is Strange, which I've just picked this up, um, I've, I think, I nearly picked up the second one I think, but uh, I do want to get them all. I know I've got one of the newer ones on PS5. Um, but nice to have the original. Uh, again, I played it digital and on PC originally. So it's just nice to have the f physical version on PS4. Uh, Little Nightmares. I'm actually playing this one uh, at the moment. Really good game. Again, I've played this one on PC originally. Uh, but then it had the... You know, came out on console. And... Um, yeah, really good game. Life is... I need to say Life is Strange. Uh, Little Nightmares 2. Haven't opened this one yet. But again, got it off Amazon. Uh, Mad Max. Such a shame with this one. Because I really wanted to get the Platinum Trophy on this game. Because it's such a fun game. But there's that one trophy you can't get. Because of the servers being shut down. Which is so annoying. Mafia Definitive Edition. Um, Man Eater, really good game. Uh, Spider Man, Marvel Spider Man, the original one. Marvel Avengers, the Telltale series of Gardens of the Galaxy. Probably said that a bit weird. Um, Medieval, Mirror's Edge, Catalyst, or whatever it's called. And then here's the Murder Soul Suspect game itself. Oh, so I, I, like, I prefer to keep the single cases on the shelf than the big box sets taking up too much space. Uh, oh, this one is an interesting one. This one is the uh, New Super Lucky Tales, which is just a really cute, easy platformer. You play as this fox called Lucky. I say that. that I, I wanted it because uh, the trophy list was fairly easy. Other than there's like one trophy on this which is like extremely hard to uh, do because it's like you have to beat two bosses I, I think without being hit. Um, yeah. Yeah I think that's it. Yeah there's two separate bosses, two separate trophies and it's like you have to beat them without being hit which is, I hate those kind of ones. Uh... Where was it? Here. Yeah. No Man's Sky. Outlast Trinity. Ratchet and Clank. Red Dead Redemption, the original one. I've, I've, 
yet to open this one and replay it on PS4. I assume it will be basically the same. It's just slightly enhanced. Uh, so I have no need to actually open it at the moment because I have played through it. But as always, Rockstar, really good game. Um, but nice to just have it nice and sealed. And um, yeah, I may keep it like that for a while. We have Red Dead Redemption. What is this, the limited edition one? The Ultimate Edition, which has the map and it's like a booklet or something in there. I can't remember. But this one is crazily expensive like to get a good copy. Um, and I'm so glad I did pre-order it when when I had the chance. As soon as it was like available to pre-order, I pre-ordered it. Uh, we have Resident Evil 2. And again, this one's sealed because I've played it, sold it on, and re-bought it. Um, I've yet to buy the third one, the remake of the third game, and uh, as I played that, completed it so quickly, and ended up selling it on. It definitely wasn't good, as good as the second one, Resident Evil 2 remake, but um, yeah, it still had its moments, and um, I will rebuy it eventually because it's fairly cheap now, and uh, yeah, we have Resident Evil 4. That's not the remake, that's just like the yeah, normal version. Uh, Resident Evil 5. Resident Evil 7. And uh, this one's a recent one I picked up, the Origins uh, collection, which I've not actually played this one before, so it will be nice to uh, give this a try. Rhyme, which... Again, I played this one uh, digitally when it first released, and it's just a simple, relaxing game, really nice soundtrack and stuff. And I uh, didn't know it had a physical version, and saw it, um, I think it was, I'm pretty sure that I got that from CEX, but not too sure. It could have been Amazon. A fairly uh, recent pickup from CEX, this Tomb Raider, uh, Rise of Tomb Raider is this? Yeah, Rise of Tomb Raider. Um, I would prefer if it was the normal one, not this weird. Uh, this well, funny enough, I actually owned this previously, sold it, and now I've got it again, and it's the same exact version as I had before. But my brother picked it up for me, and that was the only one they had. So for the time being, I am not too fast. The only thing I don't like, it sticks out, and it's just it's a weird shape. We have uh, Shadow of the Colossus on PS4. I have that on. PS3 and PS4 now. Tomb Raider. Um, what's this one? The Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And I had a bit of a problem with this one with CEX. The, again, my brother picked this up for me at the same time we got the other Tomb Raider one. They put in the normal version of this. Now, I'm sure there's not a mass difference in like um, the extra stuff you probably get on there. But the fact that you buy this version, you want that version of the game. You just, you know, it just would be incomplete if if it came like that. So, yeah, that's uh, that was a bit annoying. But managed to go back and they've sorted the problem out. But that's just more of a typical staffing problem. Uh, Sifu, I see you, Sifu. I never know how to pronounce this one, but it's a very very good game. Um, Highly recommend it. It's it's not. I think it's only came out a year ago or two, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's it's an interesting one with like the way you age as you die. Like so, if you die, you age, which is a interesting concept. We have what's it? South Park, the fractured butthole. I've yet to get the sticker true from PS4. It's fairly expensive at the moment. I'm not sure why it's gone up in price because uh, it used to be really cheap, like just stupidly cheap, I think. But um, yeah, it's gone up for us. I'm not sure why. Uh, SpongeBob, the battle for Bikini Bottom, and then Cosmic Shake. Spyro Reunited Trilogy, uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, uh, Stardew Valley. Um, this one's really cool because it's a sealed copy. Uh, I would have liked the um, Collector's Edition one, I think it is, that you can get sealed, but it was like 
I don't know if it was double the price or at least um, it could have been like 10, 15 pounds more expensive. Uh, just depends who you got it from off eBay. But for now, I say I got this one for a really good price and uh, quite happy with it. So, uh, and the collector's one or whatever it's called only comes with, I think it's like a little booklet and stickers, I think, or maybe the soundtrack or something i'm not too sure uh the amazing spider-man 2 that one's again still quite expensive uh the escapist and the escapist 2 i literally just tried to get this stick off today and yeah failed miserably as you can see i'm gonna have to get some proper goods you know like goo gone or whatever to get these off like people say oh yeah the new stickers are so much better yeah i still think it's it all depends on how long they've been sat on there because yeah, I still get very bad stickers and sometimes you take them off like the bottom one with a price and they end up having a worse sticker underneath that that they were just hiding. So that's always fun. The Evil Within, I've still yet to get the second one. Uh, what's this one? The Last Guardian, brilliant game. The Last of Us Part 1, or yeah, Last of Us Part 1 Remaster. Uh, Last of Us Part 2. Let's move these along. Lego. I always struggle with this one. Don't know why. Lego the movie video game. The Lego movie video game. Yeah, that's that's how it is. Right? <laughs> uh, the Long Dark. Very hard game. Good game, but it's a survival game and it's very difficult. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, really cool cover for this one, and nice again, it has a PS5 upgrade, so that's always nice. Uh, I hope they never get rid of that like feature for whatever reason, because I know they could if they wanted to, uh, but it's nice to get the PS4 version and get free upgrades, and you get two Platinums if you, you, know, if you ever do a game. Um, the Wolf Among Us, just picked this up yesterday, I think. Um, I did a click and collect from CX with this one, which I was a bit worried about because with click and collect, obviously you don't know what the condition is going to be like. Uh, it could be a reprinted cover. It could just be terrible condition. But I know that this had just literally come in because I searched before and they had like no stock. Um, and then, yeah, like I say, a few days later, looked again and they happened to have a copy in. And I, um, I thought I'd reserve it, go in, see if it's, uh, yeah, a good copy in that, and thankfully it was. Like I say, no issues with it. Um, and I uh, got it for £12, which is really good. The You would think that they would have it as same as eBay prices. At the moment on eBay, it's going for like like 30 to £40, so got a really good deal with that one. And uh, you can tell that they only just got this because the price wasn't even on it, so... Yeah, quite happy with that one. Uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2. Uh, t Trial Fusion. Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. Is that right? Yep. Uncharted The Lost Legacy. And Uncharted 4. The Untitled Goose Game. And we have uh, Ukulele and Ukulele The Impossible Layer, which this one is actually better than the first one. Um, but yeah, both both good games. Um, but uh, yeah, that is my PS4 collection of 2024. Let me know what you think of this collection, um, if it has improved since my last one. And... Um, I know there's still many games I don't have, you know, I don't have any Call of Duties, I don't have any Fifas, I don't have any Assassin's Creed. I will get the Assassin's Creed ones eventually because they will be fun to play through eventually. They're ones that you really have to sit down and like play hours of to, to be, you know, to really uh, take it on board. But um, yeah, the, the and they're really cheap. So, you know, I will get them eventually. Uh, but the only other thing I would say is I have some uh, 
slip covers here if you anyone is interested i thought why not mention it in the video um i do custom covers for ps4 and ps5 uh slip covers and uh yeah it's a really nice designs the uncharted one if i can get a really good scan of the covers myself or find them online i will use them uh, really nice one for the dead space something stuck to this one we have uh elden ring and then we have the modern warfare 3 one really cool so yeah if you are interested in that I will have my eBay linked down below where you can pick up my slipcovers I make. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I will see you in the next one.